So a lot of you wanted me to do a video on what's going on in America right now, so here you go. This really isn't the type of stuff that I put on my channel because clearly I'm just here to make you laugh and maybe just bring a little light to your shitty day every once in a while, but here you go anyways. First off, I'd like to thank another YouTuber, Adam Calhoun, because thankfully he's not one of those pussies out there who's too scared to have a voice during this controversial time in America. So I wanna start a new trend, American Lives Matter. Why? Because if you're an American, fuck what color you are. America is a goddamn team and we need to start acting like it. But look at America right now. We've got over 60,000 troops overseas right now to protect us from what? It's to protect us from terrorists coming over here to burn our cities down, to steal from us, to terrorize US citizens, and to break up our government. Does that sound fucking familiar? I'll bet anyone any amount of money, terrorists overseas are sitting on a hay bale with their goats, cracking cold ones, laughing their asses off at us, because this whole movement in America right now is doing their job for them. So if you're one of those people that says, I hate Trump and I hate America and fuck the police and all this other shit, why don't you ask someone who is in Afghanistan after 9-11? what hate really is. Ask someone who is over there protecting our asses what the people over there would do if they just had a free ride into the US and could put their hands on you. Let me save you some time. They would look at you like a piece of meat, they would cut out your organs, they'd sell them on the black market, and then they'd feed the scraps to their camel. Trust me, talk to one of them. They'll bring a whole new light to what hate really is. I got two situations I wanna comment on and then I'm done. And then we're back to laughing and having a good time. Two of the biggest issues out there right now is Rashard Brooks and George Floyd. Two very fucking different situations, but let's talk about both for a second. Rashard Brooks was drunk in a drive through at a Wendy's parking lot. Shit, we've all been there. Cop comes up to him, very respectful, doing his job, does a field sobriety test, has him blow. Clearly the guy's drunk, so he goes to detain him, goes to handcuff him. Soon as he goes to handcuff him, Rashard Brooks starts resisting arrest, throwing punches at these cops, wrestles them to the ground, grabs one of their tasers, gets away from them, shoots the taser off, starts running off, and then repoints the taser at one of the cops. And yeah, he got shot. No, sir. All right. I really don't understand. All right. I think you've had too much to drink to be driving. Put your hands behind your back for me. Put your hands behind your back. Now Richard is being treated as a martyr and the cop who is just doing his job is getting tried for murder. If he gets convicted, he could face the death penalty. For the people out there who want to be unrealistic about what happened, let me explain it for you. If that taser would have landed on the cop, he would have been on the floor and Richard Brooks, who knows what he would have done? He could have picked his gun up and shot him in the head. Like seriously, is this, is this whole movement about Richard Brooks a fucking joke? It's gotta be. Now here's the other part of this. The DA had a speech about how Richard was being calm, cooperative, and he actually said joyful at one point. Mr. Brooks on the night of this incident was calm, he was cordial, and really displayed a cooperative nature. No, exactly. While he's throwing fists, resisting arrest, shooting off tasers, yeah. I'm glad, I'm glad we could be realistic about this. Now on the other hand, what happened to George Floyd is a tragedy and I just about threw my phone across the room when I watched the video of him dying. Now, he was not in the military. He was a pretty bad criminal. And at the funeral, they presented a flag to his family like he was a fallen soldier. That shit makes me fucking sick. I'm not in the military. I wasn't in the military. I went the rodeo route instead, but I come from a military family. My grandpa was on the USS Houston during the Battle of Sunda Strait. Their ship got sunk by a torpedo. He got picked up by the Japanese along with a shit ton other sailors on the same boat. He was a prisoner of war and tortured for three fucking years from the age of 18 to 21. He ended up having a great life and ended up dying around 70. But let me be clear that you were spitting 
on everything my grandpa did, probably most of the grandpas in this nation, and what our current and past military have done for this country. When you give a flag to the family of a man, acting like he was a fallen soldier, who at once in his life held a gun to a pregnant woman's belly, and treat him like a hero. Where are the real fucking Americans right now? I don't hear that many of them talking. What are we scared? Stand the fuck up against this bullshit.